let's look at hive import somewhere we have uh, yeah simple hive import so if you want to import to hive what you need to do is that again you will have connection username la last name table and then you will say hive import and then you have to give a database and a table so can you check uh, what db you have in hive i have something called hmm? no 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 your own db default is there you need to replace it with your database do you have a database do you, do you remember we created i have something called june 28 so here in hive import you have to give the hive database and hive table it will create and i'm just saying number of mappers too so let me see if this works should work can you try that by yourself uh, check the hive db don't copy to default because everybody will be doing the same in that case so uh, when you do a hive import actually what happens your data will first go to hdfs from there it will copy to hive meaning warehouse folder wherever location you have but it is a two stage process it will not directly dump you can see here first it will go to so here it went to hdfs from there it will again take and load it into hive like first it will go to a temporary uh, uh, location okay from there it will load it into user high warehouse wherever you have mentioned manage table ha right. ah, same command it will run actually so you can see that uh, the table actually got created in hive and i just want to verify this so i can go to my hue query editors hive i just go to hive query editors and my database is june 28 um, where is the db june 28 oh okay yeah default sorry june 28 right june 28 there is a order item table can you see order items select star from order items limit 10 i have the data in hive but lot of confusions are there in hive import okay so yeah, the simple import is easy a lot of other there is an argument i forgot i think create table if exist i had written it in my notepad um, i want you to try export later not now i will tell you how to try that it's very simple you again do export but before you do export you have to create an rdbms table and you know how to create an rdbms table i don't have to teach you and do the same thing it will export i remember when we first started using hive import in scoop it didn't work some error came we took around one month to understand what was happening i'll tell you the situation this is a real life situation uh, normally you say hive import if you say hive import it will import no problem right this is what everybody is doing there is an argument called create hive table create hive table along with hive import you can say create hive table what do you think this will do as per the look of it it says it will create a table it does not do that <laughs> so somebody had written a query like very lengthy script it was inside that scoop was there like it was a, a job actually we had hive everything running within that somebody has uh, written something saying that hive import they were doing hive import from the table create hive table this was failing and we didn't know why it is failing or what is this argument nobody bothered actually then we looked into it create hive table looks like it will create a table right actually the use of this argument is that if the table exists import will fail that is the argument already exists in hive the import will fail that is what this argument says but the argument name is create hive table i still don't know how it is and even if you look at the documentation spelling mistakes also are there because i remember looking at this documentation ha ah, here it is scoop create hive table yeah 
the create hive table populate with a definition for a table based on a table previously or one plan to be this effectively performs hive import scoop import without running preceding import if data was already loaded you can use this tool to finish the pipeline you can also create hive tables with tool data then can be imported and populated this is what the documentation says okay actually if you run a create a hive a hive table along with hive import what this will do it will check if the table already exists in hive then it will fail second problem it will fail but before failing it will copy the data to hdfs so next time when you run another error will come it will say that the directory already exist and you don't know what is happening so this went for one month almost because <laughs> we did, we we were even not knowing that it is actually copying to hdfs then copying from there we were not bothered so initially you don't learn these things right so we were thinking that which directory there is no directory right is copying to high where is the directory <laughs> again you run again it will throw error so then you delete something and again run and another error will come so one month it went like that then some guy figured out that this is the problem so this means the table should not exist so then we deleted and uh, uh, created the table again and then it was able to create a table and load the data so some of the scoop arguments are very confusing okay and don't just copy paste in production as such any command okay just run it once and see if it is working then only and there was a spelling mistake i think they corrected it was exit instead of exist ha huh. see <laughs> if the table exits it exists there was a jira request file to correct this that is not done okay so if you say create hive table if set then the job will fail if the target hive table exist <laughs> how can you justify this create a table the job will fail if the table exist there is no match right with what you have written and then the definition should be changed right if somebody use this what what they will think okay we'll create a table right so this these very confusing arguments are there in this thing uh, anyway i will leave you to uh, the export export i will uh, ask you to try yourself because one one uh, first thing it is very simple what you need to do commands are already here create a table in rdbms and then go to hadoop say scope export and give the source and destination it should be able to export right let me know if it doesn't work uh, i will figure out a solution for you